Four years ago, country music star Randy Travis nearly died after he had a stroke. The singer who makes his home near Denton disappeared from the scene, the music scene, for a little while. Well, he did, but now he's showing his determination. The seven-time Grammy Award-winning singer chose a stage in Fort Worth to tape a performance today as he pushes ahead in his recovery. Fox 4's Phil Alvarado joining us now from the Fort Worth Stockyards with more. Phil. Heather, this is tough for Randy Travis, uh, physically and emotionally, but he's doing it because he wants to inspire others. And today he was greeted by a crowd of cheering fans who stand behind him. It's, just a it's not unusual to hear country music spilling onto the streets of the Fort Worth stockyards. Today is special. You just don't give up. And, um... I've often said to Dr. Uh, God doesn't read the medical reports. Randy Travis is in town to record a TV show four years after a stroke nearly took his life. The venue is Little Red's Longhorn Saloon, where Travis is recording a segment for the Penny Gilly Show on RFD TV. Travis can't talk because of the stroke, but he can sing a little. One of his signature hits is Forever and Ever, Amen. Going on stage takes a lot of courage, but Travis is determined to give others inspiration. He's also started the Randy Travis Foundation. The basis of it is for early detection of viral cardiomyopathy um, and stroke rehabilitation. Warner must have been listening to me. I forget. His wife, Mary, says Travis has never stopped fighting to get stronger. I think it was one of the Oak Ridge boys said, well, God's not ready for you and the devil don't want you. So, you know, we're fortunate to still be here and, and still fighting. And um, we hope that we can give other people hope. Singing is what got everything started for Randy Travis, and singing is one of those things he has left to carry him through. Stephen Heather?